Hi. <laughs> the three of us. Hey guys, I'm going with some natural lighting from my window today, so I hope that it looks okay. So that last vlog that I posted um, when we went to Magic Kingdom is going to be the last vlog of our vacation um, that we took in May. So I'm not going to be posting any more of our trip. We did a couple of things after um, that day. I know it kind of ended abruptly and stuff, but um, the last couple of days I just didn't decided not to vlog the whole day like I had been because we kind of just like did things here and there and I was just kind of like, I would like to relax and not have to worry about editing and you know um, recording and stuff like that for the rest of the trip. Plus I was just really tired of the horrible, horrible Wi-Fi that was at our Disney hotel. I didn't get to post about it on my YouTube channel. I posted it on my Facebook and stuff where most of you guys who are watching were there. But um, yeah, it would, it would take almost an entire day for one video that was like 10 minutes long to upload and it took less than 30 minutes, I mean at the most, at our hotel in Atlanta. So. The majority of our trip was in Walt Disney World, so it was just kind of like so upsetting because all my vlogs would be a day behind and it was just yeah, a lot of work. So, and not to mention my uh, computer was super slow in editing too, so it was just a long process altogether. So yeah, we did most of our shopping and stuff at the end of our trip because, you know, during most of it we kind of like saw what we wanted to get and we, you know, what kind of souvenirs and stuff. So the last couple days were us like trekking it with shopping bags the whole time. I definitely have a tendency to want to bring souvenirs back for especially my family and some of my friends. So there was just a lot of things that we brought back. We had to actually buy an entire new suitcase um, for a carry-on so that we could fit all the things that we brought back. But it was really fun. I, I really enjoy shopping. So this video is my haul video of the, of the things that I bought while I was on my trip for myself. So like I said in my May favorites video, um, I haven't touched any of the stuff. I literally just laid it all out for the first time since I got back on my trip, which was a long time ago now. And um, I'm just gonna show you what I got. So whether or not you guys saw my video in Atlanta, we went to the Georgia Aquarium, which was pretty much worth the entire trip, honestly. It was incredible to have the largest aquarium in the world there, um, as far as a, a tank, an aquarium tank there. And so they have whale sharks in this tank and it is it is just absolutely amazing and so watching this and being there AJ and I definitely became huge fans of whale sharks and so they have like a bunch of little toys this is just a little thing you put in the bathtub that I just thought was so cute <laughs> I don't take a lot of baths or anything but I just really really thought this was adorable and then I realized that for our trips and our vacations, I really want to bring one thing home that most places you can get, like if you're a tourist or whatever, have. And so I decided to get like the flat magnets that we can put on our fridge. So these are the two that I got. This is from the Georgia Aquarium, and this one's just Atlanta, Georgia. I also got this pin. Um, AJ got the one that has a manta ray on it because we really like stingrays as well. Um, but this one has, you know, the whale shark and what the actual building looks like. It looks very business building-esque looking, but um, yeah, it's really, really neat inside. That was all I got while I was in Georgia, so now we're moving to Florida. One of the first things that I actually got that I bought um, in the middle of our trip is actually this book. Um, it's Not Easy Being Green and Other Things to Consider. Um, it's just a lot of quotes from uh, different Muppets, uh, and not even just the original Muppets, but like um, Ernie, there's quotes from Ernie and just like different different characters like that and there's quotes from Jim, Jim Henson himself and so some of the things that they say in here are actually really interesting and very thought provoking. I don't agree with some of the stuff that I've read so far, um, just flipping through it, but I definitely think that there's some inspiring things that Jim Henson wrote for Kermit and um, my husband and I are pretty big Muppets fans actually since the first Mu new Muppets movie came out. Um, yeah, so we're, we're big fans of the Muppets. And another thing that I got is just this little Perry the Platypus um, plushie. I've watched most of the Phineas and Ferb episodes, but I just think that uh, Perry's character is just so adorable. And this one is like one of those ones that can, like has a little magnet hands, and I don't have this one. So I was like, I think I want to get this. So I post, I don't think I posted anything about um, the water park that we went to. Um, 
AJ and I, one of the hottest days, went to Willard Beach, and because we were swimming, I couldn't really like uh, capture a lot of things or record a lot of things because I had to keep my camera in a locker that we rented. So, um, but that was really fun, and we wanted to bring something back that we could remember by, so I bought this shirt. Um, I also bought a pin that I'll show you in a little while. But, you know, if you buy pins, like, people don't really get to see it up close when you, when, unless you're, like, talking about pins or, you know, talking with collectors or whatever. You don't actually get to see the places that they visited. So I wanted to get something where it's like, oh, like, I've been there or I wonder where that is or, you know, something that you don't have to, like, look really close at. It's like it's just a shirt, so I could wear it. I bought it in a size that's a little smaller because I'm hoping to lose some weight. I can't wear it right now, but I'm really excited to when I can. So if you guys were watching my vlog, you saw when we went to the Animal Kingdom that I saw these adorable rhino statues, and I love rhinos. My cousins and I kind of like have this thing where we are certain animals and stuff, my, and my sisters, and I am a rhino, so whenever I find something that's rhino, it's hard to find things that are rhino. It's like easier to find things that are like giraffe or cat or you know things like that but rhinos are unique so when I find something that's a rhino it's really exciting so I actually bought three of them because <laughs> I couldn't resist they were only like five bucks and I just thought you know you can't find a bunch of rhino things so and I liked all of these so I bought three of them I would probably say we got majority of the stuff um, both souvenirs and for ourselves at Epcot because Epcot has so many unique stores and um, I bought this magnet um, to remember that we were at the Flower and Garden Festival this year, and it was just so neat. They had so many great, so much great food there, so many great um, things to see, and it was just exciting. So a little memorable uh, magnet collection I'm starting. You know, there were a lot of things in Japan that I really would have liked to have had, but I have a lot of actually Japanese markets around me in my area, so. The, a lot of the things that I saw there were kind of like more expensive than the types of things I could get here that were very similar. So I didn't get a lot of stuff um, there for myself. Uh, the one thing that I did come away with though is this little hair clip. Um, they don't have a lot of like hair accessories and stuff, at least that I've been able to find. And um, I just think this one's very pretty and cute. And although they have a lot of similar things like this, I just couldn't resist because for some reason I really like goldfish type things, things that have like little fish or goldfish on it, I'm just really initially attracted to. So this one's one of my favorite colors and it has um, the little goldfish on it. So In France they have these beautiful selection of hair clips and so I got these two hair clips. Um, this one is a purple leaf with a little diamond, they have different colors in this one and this one has like a rose on it. And um, they also have a couple different colors in this one, but these are kind of expensive for hair clips, but I just thought that they were really, really pretty, and you know, I wanted to bring something back home, and um, I've been into like doing my hair different ways and stuff like that, so I really like these. I don't have particularly want to go to France, but because it had Stitch on it and it was so adorable, I really, really like this. This one actually says the Epcot World Showcase, which I think is really, really cool, because not a lot of things actually said where it came from, but um... Yeah, I thought this was just super cute. I cannot remember which country that I bought this little thing in. I'm pretty sure it was Norway though. I'm most positive it was Norway. Um, but I just found this and it's a little expensive for its size, but I just think that it is so adorable. And the way it pops up in the little sections that it has in here are just so great if you want like to put like uh, earrings or something like that. I just thought that was super clever and I really, really like the design on the front. When we went to Epcot again um, for to buy souvenirs and stuff, we actually uh, reserved a um, lunch time to go and eat at the restaurant inside of Mexico. And so um, we kind of got to spend a little more time there and stuff. And the food was actually pretty good. Uh, I picked up a couple of things while I was there. The first time we had gone in, I saw this necklace and I really liked it. And I just didn't initially pick it up. But since we were there again, I was like, I actually do really like that. So. Um, I picked it up. It's really interesting how it sounds too. You guys can hear that. It kind of like reminds me of like a foil flower, like you know, aluminum foil. I don't. I think it's made out of metal, but I just think it's really pretty and unique. And then I also bought these little kind of like wing-esque, um, flowy earrings, and 
and they're a little bit bigger than the size of earrings that I wear normally, but I just thought they were really pretty. Downtown Disney quite a few times, and there is a store there called Basin, and it's very, very similar to like a Lush store. They make like natural bath and body products, and um, they have this little set. Um, this is a, the strawberry flavor, and it have a, has a lip scrub, a little pot of a lip scrub, and then a little lip balm. And I brought um, a couple different flavors home for my cousin and my mom to try, but I wanted to try the strawberry one. Still haven't tried it since I came home, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how the lip scrub will work. So a big portion of my haul is actually pins, and the reason being is because they're so much better at pin training at Walt Disney World than they are here at the Disneyland Resort. I cannot tell you how we go there, and if we're like in the mood to pin train, we go around and how many cast members do not wear their pin training lanyards or their little like hip buckle things. That they just they're just not very good at it for some reason but at Walt Disney World they're very very good at it they have a pin training store that is particular for pin training at downtown Disney and Walt Disney World and they have like just a really huge selection it was very very fun to go in there so um, for my birthday or Christmas I think it was oh Christmas uh, last year uh, AJ bought me this one in the set, but I had no idea that they had this whole set of Stitch. And Stitch is my favorite character, if I didn't say that already. But uh, this whole lanyard, I'd never seen it before, and it may be at uh, the Disneyland Resort, but I, I didn't I didn't see it. So, And uh, at the training, uh, at the pin training um, place in downtown Disney at Walt Disney World, um, they have like a special board that has um, pins that were traded with just different people and they only open it like for a certain amount of time that you get like uh, a couple minutes or a minute or something to look at the board and trade with them so um, when AJ and I went I think the second time it was open and so we decided that we were gonna grab a bunch of pins that we were totally willing to trade because there were a couple ones that we really wanted so I bought this set and it had four other ones but I really wanted it for obviously this pin with Mickey and Stitch and then I traded um, these three so I'll show you what I traded them for uh, one of them for this Jose Carioca um, pin and if you don't know who Jose is Jose is from the three caballeros and it is an old old Disney actually kind of documentary um, in for South America and it is Jose Panchito and Donald Duck are actually the three uh, caballeros and so Jose for some reason uh, he speaks Portuguese and he was kind of brought up I think before they did this documentary series but for some reason I just think he's such a charming character and he is actually also one of my favorites. Stitch and Jose are my top two dis favorite Disney characters. So to see this one, this was like a special series that you could only trade with that was, I was like stoked and we found it on the board and it was the last one and I got it. So I was really, really excited about that one. And then uh, one of the other ones we traded was for this little paint can that has Stitch on it. I don't know where, which set this one comes from, but um, we kind of like had an extra one that we could spare and so we picked up this one. And then the third one that I traded is actually um, a Tinkerbell one that I got for my aunt because she collects Tinkerbell stuff. I bought this whole lanyard because I was like, oh my gosh, so cute. It has a stitch one and the little like kind of Jungle Cruise um, ride. But uh, I, I was like, oh, I can trade the other ones. And I actually really, really kind of grew attached to them, and I really like them. Mickey and Minnie are the ones that are on top here, but I, I had my cousin Emmy um, play with it. Oh, I just realized that there's a lawnmower in the background. Just ignore it. But they're outside right now, so I just didn't want to go and grab them. But yeah, Minnie's like in a little Haunted Mansion one, and Mickey is... I can't remember. He has something else. But they're riding rides. So uh, the other thing, other pins that I got are these two stitch ones and this one I think is either for the Disney Cruise Line or for the Vacation Club. I'm pretty sure the Cruise Line, no. which I've never been on, but I just think this one's really cute and I can't find it um, where I'm from. And then the other one are these two small ones, which I've never seen before, or I don't remember seeing them, but they're two small ones and I like them. And then lastly, I bought six different individual ones that were for each either park or um, place that we went to. So I have one from Magic Kingdom, I have one from Animal Kingdom, I have one from um, Hollywood Studios, I have one from Epcot, and I have one from Blizzard Beach. And then finally, I have one from the hotel we stayed at, which was the Port Orleans 
um, resort and we stayed at the French Quarter one. There's two things that I was going to show you guys are these keychains that I bought and I bought this one because I just really liked it. It had all the theme parks that are there. And then this goofy one which I just think is so funny. I felt like him in this pose a couple of times while I was out on vacation. So I saw it and I laughed out loud and I just, I, I thought this was great. I had to get it. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys and pretty much everything that I bought for myself on my latest vacation. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I would love to hear if um, you liked some of the things that I bought or if there were things similar that you would like to buy personally when you go on trips for souvenirs for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for spending time with me. I'm sure you will see me soon. Bye!